What's up guys, Escort 52 and welcome back to another video. On today's video I'm going to be teaching you my variation of Hot Shot in a way that I think is a lot more natural, a lot easier to get into and plus allows for a lot more combinations. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> today's tutorial I'm going to be using the Orbit 5th edition. I think the blue colorway looks perfect in this light so that's definitely a reason why. Okay so before doing this tutorial you're going to need to know one thing and that is a Charlie Air Cut. If you don't know a Charlie Air Cut I'm sure you can find it anywhere on the internet but it's basically you hold it in a raised straddle grip and using your thumb you're going to push up the top packet and let the bottom packet drop and using your index finger you're going to push that packet through clear the other one and let it drop on top. Now for my variation of a hot shot, so if you don't know what a hot shot looks like, this is it. And this is my variation. So with my variation, what you're going to do is you're going to start in that Charlie Air Cut. Before you let that packet drop down, you're going to get your little finger to contact with the corner edge that's closest to your body. And as you contact, contact, using your thumb and your little finger, you're going to break open like this. So you've got three packets on the go. And you're going to pull the packet down. Now this is only just for a little bit of flash, but also serves a purpose later on. Then what you're going to do is almost like a reverse chart here. You're going to push up with your index finger underneath. And while doing that, the three fingers down the side are going to act like a sort of a joint and buckle that forward. So as you push up, your finger's going to come through. This index finger now, so you hold this packet between these two fingers and it's resting against your middle finger here. You're now going to let go of your thumb and your index finger is sort of going to curl and grip this packet and pull it underneath. And in doing so, having it still coiled underneath allows you to get into the flicking motion. So from here, all you have to do is extend your index finger out and if you completely straighten it out, as you can see from there, it comes out as an angle and it's ready to go. Now the reason I said about the top packet having more cards on is the pressure pushing down from these allows the card to shoot out you know, with a better trajectory. So let's try that. So I'm going to swap to my middle finger because that's what I normally use and I push out and as you see that card comes flying out. Okay, so from another angle, so that index finger extends and it takes the card out sideways. I'm going to swap to my middle finger just to pull it even further. And then as I do, I just apply pressure by pushing up with my middle finger onto that corner pit and because you've got a heavier pack on top it's going to push down and allow it to shoot out. So let's have a look at from a point of view angle and see how that looks looking down at the card and get a grip from it from there. Okay guys so now that you can flick the card out the next stage in the combo is to flick it back in to the deck. I'll show you how. So you're going to catch a card like, like you do and in the action of doing something cool you're going to rotate it like this and to do that what you can do is you're going to grab it like a spider-man where you do a rock symbol and then you close those your pointer and your little finger on either side of the card and then put your thumb 
next to your pointer finger here. And as you then take your pointer finger off and rotate your card around so your hand is now extended flat, you'll feel tension build up between your little finger as the trigger point and your thumb as the connector where the energy is. And then just letting go of your little finger will shoot that back across this way. So once I ping the card out like this, and I've caught the card here, I go into that move. At the same time, I do a charlier in this hand and then lift up and send that across like that. Now if it lands upside down, what you can do is that step again where you do a reverse charlier into this position and then from there you can use your thumb to drag that across and you've sort of done a nice little closer. Okay guys, so I really hope that tutorial was of some use to you. If you did enjoy it, like, subscribe and comment down below if this is something that you're going to use and I will see you on the next one. Whee!